Elon Musk actually did buy Twitter, uh, according to Reuters and others. Elon Musk taking Twitter private in a $44 billion deal. So the world's richest man has bought one of the most active, if not the most active, but I guess I guess Facebook still defeats it in, in various rubrics, various analytics, but one of the most active social media platforms in the world. Assuming this Reuters is correct, it's, it said in the article that uh, it's been accepted by, I guess, the board, but it maybe needs to still be voted on by the shareholders, but they assume that that it will happen. I, I, I don't understand how all these business dealings go down. But anyway, point being uh, that assuming, assuming Reuters doesn't have their head up their ass, uh, Elon Musk has just bought Twitter. Now, some people I know who may be right about a lot of things are, are saying, oh, yay, great. Elon Musk is going to save us. He's going to create an uncensored Twitter after Twitter has shown so much censorship, so much aggressive censorship. Uh, thank goodness Twitter, uh, Elon Musk is going to save the day. He's going to come in riding on a horse with a cape and a thing and a crown and a saber and all of the things. He's going to, yeah, woo Here's the thing. He may decrease some of the censorship at Twitter. I don't know. Maybe he does it, maybe he doesn't. Uh, he, he's been known to lie about all kinds of things. Um, and so we may decrease some of the censorship. That I would like. Of course, I'm going to celebrate any decrease of censorship on that platform because I've watched it happen to me. I've watched my posts get shadow banned. I've watched my posts go nowhere when they clearly are on important topics. Uh, but... There's a giant caveat here, which is we should not be celebrating one of the richest people in the world just purchasing our reality, our world. That should not be, that doesn't mean that good things don't occasionally happen. Oh, he's decreasing censorship. Yay. Those are the exception to the rule. They are a a, a bonus uh, little uh, side effect that happens sometimes. This is not in general an exciting thing to have a billionaire, oh, he's going to save us. You know, it's like Jeff Bezos is going to come in and he's going to sh- f- f- fix all our shipping needs by destroying workers and killing people. Uh, yay. Elon Musk is a complete piece of shit. As I've said before, all billionaires are sociopaths. By definition, you cannot collect a billion of anything without being out of your goddamn mind. That's how that works. Anything, anything. Uh, and so... He is a sociopath. He's proven that again and again. He's uh, he, he celebrated the cooing of Bolivia because they have lithium mines. And people were talking about, oh, uh, well, you know, Tesla cars need a lot of lithium. And we helped create a coup in Bolivia uh, partially because we want good prices on that lithium. And they were nationalizing it. And we want our lithium. And uh, Elon Musk tweeted out, uh, maybe deleted it eventually, but tweeted out, we'll coup who we want to coup. He has no problem with destroying countries to get to exploit them, to extract them. That's the type of sociopath he is. Uh, he's the type of sociopath who was, you know, digging tunnels underneath Los Angeles so that he could help the rich avoid traffic. This is a madman. And we shouldn't be like, yay, madman bought the platform we all use and he might do something slightly positive for it. Okay. So stop celebrating this. Yes, celebrate decreasing censorship. But this, again, points to how when these things get this big, when they're as big as Twitter or as big as Facebook, they should be public utilities. They should be for the public community. Um, and and just to go back to, because I forgot to say something on Elon Musk in Bolivia, think about this. If he's, cre- if he's decreasing censorship, what kind of censorship do you think he's going to have on this platform he now owns against countries like Bolivia? Because they use Twitter too, right? They, I mean, do you think he's not going to be exactly the same when it comes to making sure that, oh, I don't know, Chinese people can't be heard or Russian people can't be heard on Twitter? No, it sounds like he's going to be exactly the same. He may decrease censorship on billionaires, <laughs> decrease censorship on assholes, uh, which, again, I think assholes should be able to speak their mind, but they shouldn't be able to just buy our reality. 
And the only reason this was able to take place, that he was able to come up with 40, what is that, $44 billion? The only reason this was even able to take place is because we have allowed a system, capitalism, unfettered capitalism, whatever you want to call it, it's all the same shit. Uh, don't fall for people saying, oh, capitalism would be great. The problem is we have crony capitalism. No, that is capitalism. That's how capitalism works. The powerful are going to help the powerful. That's how that shit works, okay? Uh, anyway, we, should, we have created a system. We have allowed a system. We have uh, fostered a system that creates people that are so unimaginably rich that they could do something like this, that they could buy parts of our reality that they could come into a city and say, yeah, we're just going to buy up most of the land and you just pay me. Or I'm going to buy this island. I'm going to buy... That is the natural world. What gives you a right to own an entire fucking island and keep everybody off of it? I mean, what, what, Ted Turner owns... He's one of the biggest landowners in America, along with Bill Gates. Ted Turner, Ted Turner owns the size of Delaware across the United States. If you put it together, the land that Ted Turner, creator of CNN, uh, owns, it would be the size of Delaware. What gives him the right to cause ha the, 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 the fucking Delaware's worth of America to be off limits to everyone else? And of course, if you lift it to him, he says, I'm buying it to protect it. Yeah, we... You have, you know, yeah, you know, you have a, a, a severely screwed up system. Is when we have to rely on billionaires to buy up parts of it to save it from the corporations that are destroying it. That is not a solution. That is not an answer. That is not a way to move forward. That is not. Oh my goodness, we're doing things right. No, 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 no. Sorry, Jan's telling me to talk slower. Sometimes I like. Sometimes I like getting into it. Maybe we can throw that in the comment, the comment section. Do we need slower or faster speech on Moment of Clarity? <laughs> and anyway, Jan, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, at moments I talk slower, like right now, we can make it a little jazz, you know? We can make it a little, make it a little light, easy listening. Welcome. Welcome to the John Tesh Moment of Clarity Hour. Uh, you know, at moments I go slower, at moments I go faster. It's just the way it works. Um... Uh, AU says, I'm losing touch with practicality. How is that? How is that, do you figure? Uh, and now he's just repeating it multiple times. So we'll have to put him on timeout because he can't seem to uh, just comment once. That can be a, a note for you. Uh, if you'd like to type a comment 17 times, bad idea. All right, moving forward. I didn't even mean to talk about Twitter. I didn't even, I, I, yeah. I didn't even, and yeah, Jacob saying, "Oh, it's better that Bates, it's better that uh, Elon Musk bought Twitter than Gates and and Bezos or Bozos." Uh, yeah, it's it's better to hang out with Bill Cosby than Jeffrey Dahmer. That doesn't make it good. It doesn't make it right. That doesn't mean you can leave your drink unprotected. What? That's not a thing to celebrate. <laughs> 